Now let me show you how to use your Concrete Calc Pro's length, width, and height functions to calculate areas, volumes, square up diagonals, and loads. You can always calculate volumes and areas the mathematical way, 12 feet 7 inches by 14 feet 8 inches equals square footage times 4 inches equals cubic yardage, which is good, and now you need to go back through and calculate for your diagonal and then for your perimeter, but there's an easier way. You can use the length, width, and height functions to enter the three values once and get a whole series of answers out. So let's, let's instead make it a bigger job. 147 feet, 7 inch long driveway, let's say, is our length of that. And maybe it's going to be 17 feet, 8 inches wide. And we're again going to go 4 inches uh, thick, or height. So now it's set to give us a whole series of answers. So I'll come back and hit the width key, and it'll confirm that 17.8 is the width. That's correct. Press it again. There's our surface area, 2,607 square feet. So if you've got to do water sealing or treatment to it, that's how many square feet you're going to have to treat. Press it again. There's our square up diagonal, 148, 7 and 5 eighths, corner to corner. If you're setting those forms, you want to pull a diagonal, you better make sure it measures that to be square. Press it again. Perimeter, we got 330 feet and 6 inches all the way around this. So if you're setting forms, you're going to need that many lineal feet of form boards or any kind of other trim or treatment that goes around the perimeter. Uh, we can come over here to the height key, press it, confirms the 4 inch depth, press it again. There's how many cubic yards we need for this, 32.18 cubic yards. I can press it one more time and at the wall surface area. Now this wall in this case is the 4 inch high vertical wall, the side cut of this slab all the way around the perimeter. So if you have to treat it with forms release or any kind of sealant or painting, that's how many square feet that you need to cover with whatever your spray material is. Now there's also a loads key. If I go back to the volume, volume value there, you can see that we can just recycle through the values. Um, I can also press the loads key. That just auto divides it by the default value of eight cubic yards, but if you've got different size trucks, you can do that. And it'll basically tell you how many loads you're gonna need to do that. Another thing you can do with this volume number, once you've got it, this 32 cubic yards, is figure out the weight in anticipation of what kind of load you're going to have. You can hit convert to tons, and that's going to be 48.28 tons. So by entering just three values, you've got about five or six really valuable answers out that you're going to need to do anyway, so you might as well use these time-saving keys. So that's a quick overview of the length, width, and height keys on the Concrete Calc Pro. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com slash support.